top of the morning friends and fellow traders and happy friday this is doug campbell with right way options and this is the morning market preparation video for february 1st 2019 so my goodness the bulls just refuse to lose they just want to push and push and push and push and push now on uh friday or excuse me on thursday we had kind of an interesting mix with the dow actually closing down 15 points s p 500 closing up about 20 23 points, so a little bit of a mixed result there. And the NASDAQ was the strongest, closing up 98 points. So let's take a look at the charts here and see what we can determine. Um, you know, I truly believe that the market is is very overextended here. So I'm I'm gonna be sounding just a little bit cautious here as we head into the weekend but we have to admit that the price action right now there's no clues of any pullback at all at this time so even though i'm cautious there's nothing in the price action that would suggest a reason to be that way however if you happen to catch it in the news today this has been the strongest january since 1987 that is tremendous. 1987, um, since we've seen a January of this strength. So I just think the odds are mounting for a potential rest, consolidation at a minimum um, in the market. Now, can we go higher? The answer to that is absolutely yes, we can go higher. Uh, currently, futures are pointing to a flat open, but we could certainly be pushing higher if earnings continue to roll out strong and um, economic data continues to prove to be holding up very, very well. So can we go higher? The answer is yes. I think the odds, however, are mounting for a potential rest or a pullback so what i'm planning to do ahead of the weekend is i'm planning to take profits reduce risk and move into the weekend with my uh, the majority of my funds kind of secure just in case that pullback begins over the weekend now here's what i would say a pullback into here um, certainly hasn't hurt the market at all as a matter of fact i think that would provide a nice opportunity for buying and even a pullback into here i think would be acceptable holding that support level um, to set up and an, a new um, uh, opportunity for buying so kind of keep that in mind now if we do continue to go up let's just take a look right here in the chart there is some price resistance right through here not a tremendous amount the bigger price resistance of course is right up through here so um, can we go higher the answer to that is yes um, SPY let's take a look at the SPY SPY holding up very, very strong, moving up yesterday, um, showing all kinds of strength here and just complete resiliency, just no, no selling coming into the market, no fear at all. And you can see breaking that downtrend, moving higher. I'm going to once again mark right in here a nice little support level if the market does start to pull back. Anywhere in here and anywhere into here could provide that next buying opportunity if it does pull back. Um, here soon and I think there's a fairly good resistance level right through here as you can see we kind of touch this right here and here and right here in there so a little bit of resistance right there and then of course the much stronger resistance here in the spy is right there that triple top and if we can move up into there we'd want to watch that closely let's take a look at the cues now the cues being the strongest yesterday showing lots of energy and just a beautiful pattern here this is exactly the kind of thing I like to see I want to see the market break out of a downtrend and then prove that it can hold that downtrend with buyers stepping in and we certainly have that in spades here and if we take a look um, we have a beautiful trend as well almost dead center perfect um, for an uptrend here but we also have to admit that we're getting a little bit stretched here in the market and that a pullback could happen you know just at any time once again um, if i were to mark a support level right down through here a little pullback into this area would be of no issue at all and would provide a great potential opportunity for a bounce even that pullback into here would certainly be uh, more than acceptable here on uh, the nasdaq and once again you know we're looking at these 
double tops and areas up here where we could find resistance if we do continue to go higher let's take a look at um, IWM real quick IWM beautiful chart here holding up well nice little consolidation across this price support it's proven to be a price support at least at the moment with buyers picking it up pushing it on up let's take a look right through here there's a little bit of price resistance that we would have to be concerned about and then of course we start looking at these tops up here for those next resistance levels a pullback into here would not be at all a problem in fact a really good opportunity for a potential entry and then a pullback back to this downtrend uh, would still be acceptable if we pulled back into here we could still find a really good opportunity to pick up that trade here uh, so just kind of keep an eye um, by the way um, we don't uh, obviously have to pull back we could just continue to consolidate and you can see if we consolidated across here we could put in a very monumental inverted head and shoulders pattern so kind of keep that in mind as well let's take a look at the vix that vix has been very very nice to watch as it continues to show fear slipping out of this market nice downtrend in play here on the vix but we are approaching a very major support here in the vix so we'll want to watch this down here we've had lots of occurrences where this has been either the resistance or price support and so we'll wa want to watch this really carefully here um, particularly into next week that we could see a little bit of selling coming into the market we'll want to watch uh, possibility of that fear moving up now as long as that moves up and stays under control you know we have a price resistance right in here stays under control and dips back down there's nothing here to worry about the only time I would be a little bit worried about the VIX right now is if it happened to break through this level again showing significant fear um, rolling back into the market so let's keep an eye on that t21 22 oops 21 22 t21 the four week new high new low ratio here once again we're just we're pegged up here um, um, uh, I, it's been I can't remember a time when I've seen us hold up here like this this long and that's been extraordinary there's been some amazing profits as the bulls just uh, are tenaciously pushing to the upside but I think eventually at some point in time we have to realize what goes up must come back down and at a minimum at least uh, go through a nice long resting period consolidation period but we certainly have plenty of potential um, room to move down in here so i'm kind of favoring uh, that as a possibility and and, and just going to act cautiously around that and that's why today i'm looking to be more of a profit taker than a buyer i am adding risk into the weekend now that certainly doesn't mean that i'm going to be right um, we could still see the market move higher next week and that would be you know hey a a, a deal with with, uh, between the US and China on trade that could certainly move us higher without question um, earnings results continuing to roll out very very strongly that could certainly uh, fuel us to move higher but I can always buy back in Monday and I don't have to worry about my money over the weekend so I'm gonna prefer to do that today let's take a quick look at the um, economic calendar economic calendar we have some big stuff going on here this morning and really the biggest um, this employment situation number coming out at 8 30. there's already been a warning that that could be showing a little bit of weakness just because of the furloughed um, federal employees that could um, have affected that number so watch that close pmi manufacturing um, right here that could certainly make a move we do have a fed speaker here today to to make note of um, at 9 45 and then the ism is a big number for the day uh, can really move the market around construction spending consumer sentiment can certainly make a difference but unlikely to be big movers of the day and then one more fed speaker to kind of top things 
things off here at 1040. So kind of keep your eye on the market. There's a lot of news coming out, a um, lot, quite a few earnings coming out. We only have about 66 companies reporting earnings today, but there's some big companies out there. So kind of keep an eye on those results as they um, roll out this morning. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And I want to wish you a awesome, awesome weekend. Um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys are awesome. Thank you for doing that. You're supporting this channel. Um, remember, I don't intend to make any money from these videos. My 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 hope here is to just provide really good quality information. Um, after being in the market for 30 years, 14 years full time, just sharing some of that um, information, the things to look for and that preparation that I think is so important for every trader to do um, before they enter the market. So with that, let's take a look at a few um, really, really good charts that are um, just showing all kinds of signs of positiveness that we need to kind of keep an eye on. Um, H-U-Y-A, H-U-Y-A, beautiful chart here, breaking its downtrend, consolidating through here. Nice bullish candle here yesterday, showing signs of pushing through this pink line right here. Anytime you see a pink line, you'll, you'll see that I have a, um, a price alert there, and you can see H H-U-Y-A looking very, very good at the moment and showing signs of bullishness. Uh, TJX, TJX, you take a look at TJX, there's my alert. Nice little tight consolidation in here. I need to move my trend line over here now. This is what I call a pop out of the box pattern, a very nice tight consolidation within a trend and then those buyers step in here. Next resistance level on this chart would be right up in here nice potential move particularly if you're an options trader um, a really nice pattern here on tgx and looking strong if we take a look at like swks swks continues to just move right up this little trend showing some strength in here hanging in looking good so we'll want to keep an eye on swks it could be one for your watch list and one to pay attention to as we move forward let's take a look at spotify Spotify made an attempt yesterday to pop out and ended up pulling back. Now, sometimes that can be a bad thing um, and we uh, follow on through to the downside, but sometimes we can get that candle like that, holding that support and then just get follow through the next day to the upside. So we'll want to watch Spotify still within a good pattern. And here's a, an example of that. Roku. Roku had one of those days where we popped up and pulled all the way back and then the next day just followed through to the upside. So there's one of those great examples, Roku being another one of those really good charts to maybe pay attention to um, here, just showing nice strength. Also EA, EA, just a gorgeous chart here. We had that nasty little pullback here, but now bulls firing back up here yesterday, pushing up here toward my alert area. You can see showing nice uh, trend nice strength also nice downtrend break here so looking uh, positive and something you might want to keep an eye on in your charts so that's just a few and there's a lot more take a look at BBBY you can see BBBY had that nice popping move on um, earnings beautiful tight consolidation there's that pop out of the box pattern again within a trend and if by the way guys if you want to learn more about the pop out of the box pattern or any of the patterns that I talk about hit uh, run up on a breakout or any of those things we do have full classes available on that if you're interested and you can see in this pop out of the box pattern this beautiful price action going on here price popping up that doesn't mean it has to just take off from here keep in mind we still have a little more room before for this to move over toward its trend before it might go but and we have the potential of this breaking through into this nice gap opening up this trade so bbby definitely one to pay attention to so there's a few for your watch list as we head into the weekend be a little bit careful and cautious make sure to take some profits um, you know our job as traders is to 
is to advance our account. And it doesn't matter if you advance your account by $5,000 or if you advance your account by $25. Our job is to move the account forward, not to take too much extraordinary risk and to realize that the market has that ebb and flow in it. Um, bulls have been tenacious, but they will eventually um, run out of energy and those bears will take over and there'll be some profit taking going on. So keep that in mind as we head into this weekend. Make sure to protect some capital. Put some money in your account. Be a trader. Profit. Take those profits. Everyone have an awesome, awesome weekend. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you right back here Monday morning. And I want to wish you all great success today. Never give up on yourself. Always maintain that dream of trading full time. Everyone take care. Talk to you soon.